Hey guys, Paulie Howard. I'm with Fox Sports Radio for the card Thursday, February 16th. Before I tell you what I'm betting, time to rant run. Dave Koken and Kevin Ioli on the radio show. Kevin Ioli covers MMA for Yahoo Sports. Looking forward to that interview. A lot of questions with Mayweather and McGregor. Jay Cornegay said his tweet was not that it'll happen. Entertainment purposes, he makes Mayweather minus 2,500. So that is five different bookmakers in Las Vegas with five different odds on this fight. $6, $9. 2,000, 2,500, and 5,000. Think about that. This is going to be something. And uh, we'll see what Kevin talks about, what he has to say coming up on the radio show, 1030 Pacific. Looking forward to that. Last night in the association, it was a wild one. Milwaukee, bad beat alert, lay in five. They won 129 to 125, led by 13 in the fourth quarter. Back door was open for a Lopez three, who was six. First player in NBA history. This is what the Nets said. First player in NBA history to make six or more threes and block eight or more shots. And he was six of eight from three. And uh, back door was open there. Raptors, they won after trailing by 17 points entering the first quarter. Entering the fourth quarter, rather, they had lost 93 straight games when trailing by 17 points or more. Entering the fourth, they held Charlotte to 10 points. They outscored them 32-10 to 10 in the fourth. They won the game but couldn't get the money. One by five is six-point shock in that one. Uh, bad bets, plenty of them out there with the Lakers. A no-show in Phoenix on a back-to-back. Phoenix drops 137 on the Lakers. It was a layup line for most of the game in that one. 137 to uh, 101. Kansas State took money at home against Iowa State. They lost 87 to 79. It was 22 to 6. Iowa State out of the gates. You know, the Duke total almost got there as well after a 25 21 first half score. I mean, I don't know what Virginia was doing there. Foul, then lay it in. Foul, lay it. Doesn't do you any good. You're just trading points. Duke's not going to miss free throws. At some point, you have to shoot a three. That was ridiculous. Um, uh, Xavier goes down again. Providence with a big win at home. Xavier looks to be out of it without Blewett. And the Rockets bet up to 10 at home against the Heat. They get swept by Miami. They pretty much were in control of that game from the get-go as well. And we talked about this with Andy Isco and Ken Thompson on the radio show. North Carolina beat NC State by 50 in the first meeting. They were bet up to 11 on the road. Then the ESPN report about Godfrey before the game that he could be fired. He's going to be fired at the end of the season and could be gone before that. They lose 97-79. to 79. I don't know how the hell they beat Duke on the road in Cameron when they were down 19 but another blowout loss for NC State in that one. All right, it is the final day here before All-Star Weekend. Just two games in the association, and then it's a good – thank God there's some great games in college over the weekend. You know, I don't know how many people get excited for the slam dunk contest and the three-point shootout in the All-Star game on Sunday. Forget about it. But Saturday, you got Kansas-Baylor. You have another Gonzaga game we can go to talk about with Brad Powers and Malinsky on the radio show Friday. Uh, Virginia plays North Carolina, and it's USC against UCLA again. So that'll be on tap, all those games on Saturday. But over my shoulder and up at pregame, time to tell you what I'm betting. Good fella, first half game of the year in the NBA. That pick is up, locked and loaded. And golf matchups, fire the cannon with Brady Cannon. That time of year again, looks to uh, keep it going with golf. All his matchups are available at pregame. Uh, tough one for us, now a 13-6 and six run, Fort Wayne. Did not go over. It stayed under. Handicapping the Cappers. Paulie's pick from the pros. So nothing today. Look for something on Saturday. As always, betting half a unit on the free play. Wizards. Pacers. Over 216 and a half. Pacers not playing any defense lately. Let's go with the over in that one. They just played last week. It was 112 to 107. Let's go over 216 and a half in this one. I've ranted. Now I'm going to run. Good luck out there. Listen to the radio show Thursday and Friday. And we'll talk to you Friday on pregame.com.